everyone, I'm Shannon Kantner and you are now entering the School Zone, CMSD TV's brand new program where we sit down with our fearless leaders all across the district, our principals, to learn more about them and their schools. Today I am joined by Jose Gonzalez, the principal at Bureau Dual Language Academy, and Cindy Perez, the Dean of Engagement there. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So we know your school is one of a kind, and we will get to that in a little bit. But first, let's just start off with the basics. How about location? Location. We are located in the near west side of Cleveland, um, right by between Scranton and Clark Avenue. Um, we're way back into Bureau Avenue, so we're in like a little oasis back there, um, as I call it, because we're in, the, in a uh, dead end street, basically. And we sit way in the back, and our beautiful building is the highlight of the street. Sounds wonderful. An oasis in oh, Cleveland. Yes, that sounds definitely. great. <laughs> All right. And how many students in this oasis? We have about 400 students um, this year. We're actually um, having a wonderful, wonderful turnout with our enrollment. Every year our enrollment goes up. Um, when I became principal of the school, we began at 320. We're up to 400 this year. And grade levels, I'm sorry we didn't specify that. Pre-K through 8. We have pre-K through 8. We um, go all the way up and our students receive um, two high school credits in Algebra 1 and Spanish 1 honors because of our dual language program model. Excellent. And we will get to that, of course. So school colors. The school colors are red and red and white. And our mascot is the bulldog. It's changed this year. We used to be a puppy. <laughs> now they want to be more fierce. So that has changed, but it's still uh, bulldogs. Yes. Excellent. And school motto or mission statement? Our school motto is basically creating bilingual learners every day. Um, we we we're, we value a lot of our, our, our the core of our, our program model, which is our dual language, and that's um, we we extend that to our students. Um, so our motto is basically creating bilingual learners every day. Which is a perfect transition because obviously it's right in the name of your school, Dual yes. Language mm -hmm. Academy. So what does that mean, and what makes your school so unique? Well, our, our school is very special because we are the only school in Cleveland that. Um, teaches everyone 50% of their day in English and 50% of their day in Spanish. Right from our pre-K students all the way up to the eighth grade, um, our students receive basically instruction in all the academic core areas in both languages throughout the day with the goal of becoming bilingual and biliterate by the time they hit eighth grade. And we've achieved this so far. We were actually the only, the only school in Ohio that did it for about seven out of the 12 years that we've been dual language. Wow. So does that mean, tell me about your students a little bit more, does that mean most are coming in with English as a second language or you have a nice mixture there? Well actually we have a good mixture, our demographics in the building. We have Middle Easterners, um, South American, North American, uh, we have students that are trilingual. Yes. Um, we, they enter in with one language. Um, it's just been really great to hear. You have to hear our kindergartners respond because he only speaks to them in Spanish yes. and they responded and they respond back. They try and they work real well. By the time they're in eighth grade, they understand basically everything you're saying. Yeah. That is amazing. So on, on that note, tell me what kind of special programs or initiatives, school clubs you guys have going on there. Um, under, the, under the program, well, this year we've started, um, we're very big on the six pillars of character counts. So every month we feature a, 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 character, um, a character building skill, such as this month is trustworthy. So then the teachers nominate, the students nominate a, a form called Caught Being Good. And that means the student has gone above and beyond and then we put them in our Instagram board yeah. And so they're highlighted that way. We also instituted a viewer buck where the children earn a dollar viewer money when they do things that are outstanding, not for regular doing the homework, but going above and beyond. And so they purchase at the end of the grading period. Um, we, have, we have sports in our, pro, in our school. We have ba boys basketball, girls volleyball. And we work uh, very well with American Scores. We've had for a couple of years. We have a reading tutoring program with Jewish Federation which has been with us for about 10 years. Yes. Um, we also have coming in uh, art inspiration, inspirational arts. Center, Center for Inspired Arts. In our, and there are, the boys and girls will be doing uh, <clears throat> digital videos next week, storytelling, and they're really excited about that. And they're this week, about social yeah. issues. This week um, is Great Lakes, continuing. Great Lakes Theaters with the children this week. Wow. So, you know, <laughs> we're, we're lucky with our community partnerships that are helping us fund those things. And those are with Humada. Yeah. is One Citizens Bank. Mm -hmm. This year we are, we're a community partnered with Hispanic American Spanish American Committee. Committee because they offer GED. They're the only ones that offer GED in Spanish. Now I'm putting a plug for them, but <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, the GED and Spanish. And it's the only one in the state of Ohio. 
and they offer GED in English. They offer English as a second language for, the, for our parents. So we have programs for our parents to also do. We partnered with the youth center down the street, which comes in and works with our kids. And then our kids who have nowhere to go after school, it's only two blocks down, yeah. and they can go there and wait till they get picked up from their parents. So actually, we connected really well with our neighborhood, I think. Yeah. Sounds like a very strong community partnership. Yes. We also have, um, this year, we're, we're instituting a parent institute uh, per quarter, mm -hmm. which parents and families can come and learn what their ch children are learning on a daily basis. So every classroom teacher in our school is going to be developing a make and take presentation. It's gonna take, actually it's gonna take now an effect on October 14th, it's gonna be our first one. And it's going to be in the evening time. We've arranged uh, child care. We have all our community partners coming in to provide information as well as um, parents are gonna be receiving and making something tangible to take home and practice with their children, whether it's doing homework, um, uh, state testing material, how to uh, teach and tutor children in reading. If their child has been having difficulties with reading, what are some of the remedial things that they can do at home? Wow, we know how important parent involvement is in yes. helping kids get to school in the Definitely. first place. And we're very lucky. I don't know what it is, but we're doing it. Open house, we averaged about 250. Yes. And then we just had, um, <laughs> we had um, <laughs> we're 400, almost 400 parents yes. showed up. Wow. What was open house? The and first night. No, open house, is. we have 400 parents. Yeah. I think we know what it is. Like leadership. Come on now. No, give yourself we try. Some yeah. 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 Absolutely. Oh, our meet and greet. That's what it was. Meet our meet and, and greet, greet yes. uh, where the parents just come in, look at the school, meet some staff. And that was about 250 that, that attended that single night. Open house. Open house. Was we was had 100%. about 400 families wow. come in mm -hmm. to, to the school. That's amazing. It sounds yeah. like you're really getting parents, the community involved. Yes. And you're also doing that with the students. I know you do something yes. very special every yes. single day in the morning. <laughs> Tell me yes. about that. Well, every day we start off our day with line dancing, basically. Um, it became part of our, when we did our partnership with the NFL, with the um, uh, Play, 60. Play 60, thank you. With the Play 60 a couple of years back. And uh, we thought about our uh, conditions for learning and the energy that the children were bringing every morning right after breakfast. So we decided to implement once a week our line dancing and uh, two we, years ago, we are doing it every, every single way, day. Every morning. Our children bring different types of music in the morning and for 20 minutes every morning, while the children are coming from breakfast and to our gymnasium, the children are doing uh, different types of line dancing. And once they get ready, we do our class meeting in the morning, we do our daily objectives with all of our student body, and then they head off to class. So that's something that we do every single day. But I want to go to that school. Awesome. You're welcome to come dance with us. Yes, awesome. Awesome. come Thank on you. down. So, you know I'm going to hold you to that. Yes. Coming to yes. Okay. So you're obviously very passionate and proud of this school. You have yeah. a long history with this school and the I district. Do. So tell me about that a little bit and then how much it means to you to be the principal there now. It, it, it means a whole lot. I, it, uh, Buer Dual Language Academy holds a very special place in my heart because um, I went to Buer when I came from Puerto Rico. Um, at the when we first came to the United States. Um, I went there as a student and then became a paraprofessional, a teacher, and currently I'm the principal. So I've been a viewer for a total of about 13 years out of the 17 that I've been in the district. So it, it, it holds a very dear place to my heart. That's amazing. And what is it like to be the principal there? It sounds pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. I, I, I have to say that every single day, and we talk about this uh, on a daily basis, every single day I, I I it's feel different. so overjoyed yeah. of coming to work. Um, I think I missed a total of two days last year um, <laughs> because, um, and it was for different um, family reasons, just because, you know, we all have lives. Um, but I, I'm overjoyed. I, I, every day I come into work very energized and ready to, to, to work with my students, which are the basic core of our city. Absolutely. I think it's across the board because our attendance is still a very high attendance. Yes. One of the highest in the district. So that tells us the kids that want to come. And mm -hmm. when they want to come, it makes it easier to do your job. Of course. We average the first two weeks of school 100% attendance. Um, the first two weeks of school. You don't even average when it's 100%. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> We're trending right now at 98% as we speak mm -hmm. since, the, since the year started. Good job. Great job, guys. Not that you need a pat on the back, but that is amazing. Thank so you. with all of that said, what is your vision for the school? Um, our vision, and, and, and Ms. Perez and I share this um, every week with our kids, um, my vision is basically for our kids to be the best, that they can be the, the best citizens in society, and having that particular perk of everyone being able to learn on a, on a, on a daily basis, and having that additional language piece for them, it's amazing because it opens up so many doors in the world for them. Um, our children are 
our first priority, and, and our vision is to get them where they need to get. Hopefully, at least by the eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time you have. Of course. Them, so, yeah. <laughs> and, Cindy, so anything you want to say about that, your vision? It's just for them to come in enjoying it. Once they enjoy coming, they'll keep that up and they'll finish the school. And when they leave at eighth grade, it's so hard on us. You know, yes. everybody's crying. Oh. You know, and they come back. This school year, I don't know how many of them I came back. Yes. Can I help you in the library? Can I help you with um, basketball, volleyball? Do you need the library stocked? Anything. But a lot of them, I come back a lot to visit. That says so much well, about what you're course. doing there. Yeah. And there's generations of families. Their yes. sisters and brothers are still there. We have families. I give me a couple of students. Family has been there since the day they arrived. Everybody's, every, all the whole family's been through our school, yeah. chosen to go to our school. Yes. Amazing. What, at this point, would you want the community to know out there about Bureau? We want our community to know, basically, that our doors are open for everybody. Um, <laughs> it's a wonderful place to be. Um, children um, are, enjoy coming to our school building, and I think that we're rating us one of the best schools in CMSD, and we're very proud of that. Yeah. And the community to know that we want to partner with them, and we need our children to know what's available in their community and that connection for our students, yes. because they will leave us one day, and they need to be familiar and be part of their community. Fun. And last, I want to end on a fun, happy memory, perhaps, for both of you. What is your favorite thing that sticks out oh, to you wow. so far this school year? So favorite many. moment. I know, I bet. <laughs> it sounds like it. it. Sounds like you could list 100 just in the past I week. I know. <laughs> um, for, for me, basically, it would be the having perfect attendance first two weeks of school. To me, that was amazing. That was the first time in, in our history that we, we ever hit that particular mark. And to me, that was amazing. And, and, and having... Uh, the support of our families and parents, I think that's that's number one in order for us to reach that. That would be my moment. We had a student that um, parents moved to further west and yeah. it was just so upsetting, we refused to move. The, the child would not go and that for me was a big, big thing. So we arranged transportation so the child could be picked up over there and brought to our school so she yes. could finish out. She's got one, this is her last year. And it was heartbreaking, we worked it out, she did not want to leave us and that means a lot to me. Yeah. That is remarkable. Definitely. And I would be remiss at this point if you guys didn't say something in Spanish. I mean, you are dual language, so say a little something for us in Spanish. Oh. I don't know. I need. I have Long to get or something. Short. Uh, <laughs> medium? I don't, medium. I don't know. Muchísimas gracias a todos por estar con nosotros y estamos muy orgullosos de nuestra Academia Bilingüe Pure. Vengan a visitar cualquier día. Estamos las puertas abiertas. Because now I need to know what you said because <laughs> sadly and admittedly I speak little to no Spanish except Lo Santo. So Lo Santo, but I don't know any Spanish. <laughs> right. So the, the, the combination of us would, would, would be that uh, our doors are open for everybody in our community. Uh, we're so glad to uh, have you and we are very proud to be part of CMSD. Well, thank you guys so much for being thank here. You for and I, thank you. I, yes, thank you. And I echo that. Everyone is welcome to be on this program. And in this show, we want to showcase as many schools as possible. So thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>